Kevin O'Leary has turned his fortune into fame as Mr. Wonderful on Shark Tank. And now he's whipped up something completely new, a YouTube cooking show. The unstoppable mogul told Lindsey Granger about the similarities between finances and food. And that's our featured story on the top of the list. You may know Kevin O'Leary as the cut and dry business mogul from Shark Tank. I've looked at the valuation and I say, are you guys out of your friggin' mind? But he's a man of many talents, most recently adding the title of chef. Look at the color of that fruit. To his resume. Put it on the palette. With a brand new YouTube cooking show. Oh! I met up with my old friend to talk about all the lessons that the world of food shares with the world of finance. Come into my kitchen, buddy. You gotta take the heat. With the flour and the eggs, ooh la la. The first lesson, there are no shortcuts. We're gonna talk about the idea of no shortcuts. I saw you said canned peaches are a big no-no, right? Yeah. You can't use canned peaches. Kevin recommends using fresh ingredients for every meal. Our beautiful peaches, oh my goodness. They're flowing with desire right now. And doing things the right way, both when preparing your meal and mastering your money. I like to say I cook with integrity. I'm honest and I'm transparent about the ingredients I use. I'm not scared to show my recipe to people, which is you know why I'm happy to celebrate it. I do the same thing in business. I do business with integrity. You may not like the fact that I tell you the truth on Shark Tank. I don't care. It's still the truth. So make sure to do the work and go the extra mile in business and in the kitchen. That is the best ever. Next. Kevin says, don't let the butter burn. Never let the butter burn, and you never burn the cash flow. In cooking, you do not want that butter to turn brown, because that taints the dish. It gives it a carbony look to it, and it just destroys the artistic presentation. Burning the butter shows that you're distracted, and just like in business, you have to pay close attention to everything you do. I'm always keeping my eye on the cash flow. I'm always watching the butter. Those are the two things I watch. If you watch cash flow in business, you'll discover problems long before other people see them. Oh my goodness. And the final cooking tip that spills into the business world, turn your weakness into your superpower. When you were younger, you had dyslexia. I did. You turned that into your superpower. I was at the height of my dyslexia then, and really having trouble reading and advancing my math scores. But I was cooking like a banshee. I mean, I was really bringing, and it shows you, with dyslexia, there's certain skills that you can accelerate in. You won't find a lot of 14-year-olds that can, can cook an award-winning escargot dish. Mm, perfect. And those are Chef Wonderful's biggest lessons that go from the tank to the kitchen and back to the bank on the top of the list.